Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 70-year-old male who complains of wrist pain. This is an x-ray that shows his lunate bone here is small. It's collapsed, flattened. This is a scaphoid bone, lunate bone, triketral bone, and when we see this flattened and collapsed, we call that Kienbach disease. And we're going to look at an MRI now to see what this looks like on MRI. Now, this is the MRI. We see the lunate bone, instead of being bright, hyper-intense marrow on this T1 sequence, we see this abnormal low signal intensity, so it's collapsed. And this can be seen with avascular necrosis. The blood supply is lost and it becomes weak and collapses. And again, they call this lunatomalacia or Kienbach disease or avascular necrosis is all the same thing, but the bone is weak and collapses just like this. This is a view that shows marrow um, edema is bright, and we see this brightness in here as well. We see some reactive changes of this bone. Now, when this collapses, the lunate bone, the carpal bones here, the wrist, go proximally because of the volume loss here. This bone is impacting with the distal ulna, and there's a little cystic erosion here, and there's also some erosive changes here related to the abnormal mechanics of stress from this being collapsed. You can see the same thing on this. This is a gradient echo sequence. We said a little cystic erosion the bone-on-bone -bone configuration here. Also, there's a structure that goes across here. It usually acts as a cushion between this part of the carpal bones and the distal ulna. It's called the triangular fiber cartilage. But this patient has a completely torn triangular fiber cartilage. This little thing that's like a meniscus here is absent. It's torn. And again, there's a bone-on-bone -bone configuration. Now, one more thing just to talk about the lunatal malacia or Kienbach disease. This can be from a few things. So. One thing that may predispose to this is the ulna. Sometimes the ulna is too short, and when it's too short, there'll be abnormal load on the lunate bone as it articulates with the radius, and that can lead to lunate collapse or avascular necrosis. In this patient, it looks like there's no negative ulnar variance. It's more of a neutral or minimally positive ulnar variance, and so that does not predispose to this. And there are different anatomic variations of blood supply. Different individuals have a different number of penetrating vessels that supply this. Sometimes an individual will have limited, like only one vessel, um, to penetrate into this. And when they have a minor, minor trauma or other things, it can injure that vessel and lead to avascular necrosis. Sometimes the morphology, someone may have a large lunate bone or a certain shape of a lunate bone that um, leads to have, it, uh, have more stress. That can also predispose to this. So just a quick example of Kienbach disease or lunate malacia. And it's a pretty devastating disease where uh, the surgeon will have to come in and maybe fuse some of the carpal bones. And that's it. Thank you very much.